red dot. Okay. All right. So basically, I'm hooking up the scroll. Then I'm hooking up the what is called the this device in order to be able to have my Gri Gri Plus on a pulley. This is a pulley hooked up to the Gri to the crawl. And I'll be able to simply remove slack from my gri gri. Now I'm gonna hook both of my ascenders connected via the foot loops. They're all pencil foot loops just under underneath the Prusik loops that I already prepared in advance on a rope on top here. This is a lower one, and this is uh, for my right hand, the uh, upper one. And now I'm going to be starting climbing. So the idea is uh, this crawl has to move upwards after I, I use my ascenders because it's a backup system device. So once I, I move the crawl, I remove slack from my grigri here and I continue, I put the prusik upwards, finally I, I uh, get some, some uh, pressure on my uh, ascenders, I can push the crawl up again. Okay, again I remove slack from my grigri. Excellent. Now I continue the upward move. Yeah, you can move, you can move a little bit. And as you can see, the other side of the rope is connected through my harness on my two, two loops while the gri is connected with the main loop. Again, I remove slack on my crawl. And again, Slack of my Grigri. Again, uh, I'm removing here slack through my pulley for my Grigri Plus and uh, what am I doing here? Let me get some more uh, elevation and then I'm going to rappel down, okay? Okay. Again, I have to push this crawl up. So the purpose of the crawl is simply a backup system in case the system fails. All right, let me a little bit more and then I should be able to this rappel, okay? Okay.
I guess I should be enough. Now, one more, sure. one more time, and then I'm going back. Yeah. Okay, then the crawl. Okay. Removing slack again from Grigri. And now I'm ready to rappel down, so I simply have to uh, remove my items one by one. And as a backup, I will use a Prusik, which will be connected through my to my quick draw, who is a. Uh, two locking carabiners, so I put the upper one, the solid one. Now I'm uh, secured with a Prusik and I can start removing both of my ascenders. Actually, I remove uh, the crawl also. Crawl is out. One of the. Let me remove properly even, even the pulley here. Excellent. This is out. And the last one. Uh, so now I gotta make sure I got tension here. And I remove my left. Okay, I'm all set now. I'm just gonna rappel down and I have a backup also. A Prusik knot, Prusik cord. Take it down. All right. Would you be able to come to me, pass me the camera, please? Okay. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom myself with a close up to what I'm doing here. Okay. Let's see here. Excellent. Super job, Brian. Okay. okay you are about minutes now. Perfect. All right. So here is uh, the Prusik cord hooked up by my upper locking binner, very solid, which is hooked up from my chest harness all the way to the lower main loop on my main harness. This is a Grigri with a picture up. I already removed this system, which was a pulley, which helped me remove slack from my uh, Grigri. And the crawl is just a, a backup item, because this Grigri cannot fail with so much backup, you know. I have three backups. I had the two... Uh, Ascenders and the Grigri and the Prusik on top of that at the end, so it cannot fail. This was uh, where I hooked up the system, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And thanks, Brian, for helping out. Much appreciated. <laughs> Cheers. Well, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Are you teaching your course in climbing or? No, 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 no. I'm just. Uh, I'm doing a system for myself. That's a Bow River. It's still uh, the day is what? What day is 16 or uh, 17? Today is around the 25th, I think. Of what March. Yeah. Yeah. I, I 25th. Uh, I gotta check my phone. Yeah. So there's still ice on a on a Bow River. It's more than last year, right? 
Uh, I don't remember it was so much ice last yeah, year. Yeah, I, I don't remember either. Because April 1st was already pretty much clear yeah. on this shore at least. Yeah. Hi guys, I want to explain the system, uh, how it functions, although I already called my rope, but I will explain it regardless. So, as you can see, a French Prusik, it's used for uh, at the end to remove slack. This will be connected uh, at the top. top of this uh, quick draw with uh, two locking binners. The purpose of this so it will be hooked up here, you know, and then it's going to remove the slack. The purpose of this uh, quick draw is to connect the main harness via this loop to the chest harness, petrol, petrol chest harness. So it has a, a nice backup. Basically, this blue cord, uh, blue sling, it's connected to the crawl. And here is uh, the trolley, which removes the slack from the grigri, my 2 by one I believe it's uh, four, so it's much more convenient. The crawl being uh, attached to the rope just below the... Actually, hang on a second. It's not really below the Prusik in this situation. Below the Prusik is going to be the two ascenders hooked up here underneath the Prusiks and above the crawl. Because the crawl has such a nice uh, adherence to the rope this uh, trolley system, pulley system, is going to be a very, very effective, you know. This one is Grigri Plus, uh, via a special uh, beaner here. The main... Uh, And this is pretty much it. It contains only these items and it's absolutely with super backup. It can work on any conditions, wet rope, frozen rope, you name it. It's a Prusik, a crawl, a small carbiner, a pulley, Grigri Plus. I prefer this Belay Master DMM. Then you got uh, another small beaner, and then you got this double quick draw that connects the two harnesses and also on the upper beaner. It allows a connection with a crawl. So yeah, this is it. And of course, uh, you got these special foot loops, which gives you so much flexibility ascending and when removing slack 
So uh, I use a Mammoth 70 meter rope. Looking forward for my uh, upcoming adventures. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers from the Bow River Shores in Calgary. I want to show you now how to make a slip knot that I don't need to use for my system. Well, let's say I'm missing out one item and uh, or I drop one item and stuff like that and I need to do a backup knot. That's how you do it. You make a, a loop like this and just pull it through. got your uh, slip knot and the purpose of this slip knot is that once you pull it from above it will open like this so again you have this That's supposed to catch in case you drop your grigri fails. And you can remove it without being next to it by just pulling the rope tight from above. Thank <laughs> you. 